Hi, this is Garth Harris. Welcome to Cake Basic. You're watching this video because you probably just got your brand new license of Cake Basic and you're looking for a fast way of getting your business off the ground. This video is intended to do just that. We are going to walk you through how to create and configure all the pieces in Cake Basic so that you can get your first campaign live. There will be other videos walking you through other components, but this video is going to be focused on five steps. We are going to show you how to configure your first vertical. We're going to show you how to add your first advertiser, which will then be connected to your first offer. We're going to show you how to create your first affiliate. And then ultimately, we're going to finish on creating a campaign. And a campaign is ultimately what you drive traffic to. When you first log into Cake Basic, there will be a helper window that pre-populates and you can choose not to show that again so that every time you log in this helper window is not there. But there is a good way to fast track to some of our knowledge base articles or some of the wizards that we have in the system for adding new things. I'm going to have to exit out but if you ever wanted to open that again just click that help button and that card will open up again. All right so we're going to take a first step. The first step in Cake Basic is to create your vertical. Now the vertical is going to be that category of how you want to manage the type of traffic that you're running traffic to. If you're an affiliate network, the, cat, the vertical or the category is going to be a way for your affiliates to filter the type of traffic that you have access to. You may have multiple verticals such as mortgage or diet or, you know, there's lots of different verticals out there. So you have the ability to create verticals in the system for that purpose of categorizing the type of traffic that you have. All right, we're going to go ahead and create our first vertical. First, click on the Setup Main tab. And on the left, we're going to click on Verticals. In the system, we've pre-populated your Cake Basic system with a couple of examples so that you can open up the cards, you can click around, uh, but they are just examples, you don't have to use them. So the first step is to click Add Vertical. This will open up our Add Vertical wizard, and wizards are how we add new things to the system. So in this case, we're going to add a new e-commerce or retail vertical, and verticals are supposed to be a bit more specific than the category. So the category may be retail, but the vertical itself may be shoes retail. So in this case, we can say I'm driving traffic to one of my offers, which is specifically focused on retail, but primarily shoes. In this case, we're now asked to provide a category. And again, that category is intended to be the hierarchy or the more broad categorization, because you will have an option for your affiliates to allow them to search by either the specific vertical or by the more broad vertical category. So in this case, when you open up that dropdown, you will see a very broad list of all vertical categories under the sun. In this case, let's just search for retail. Click next and finish. And now our first vertical has been created. And now you're looking at the card system that we have. Cards are a great tool within Cake Basic. They allow you to multitask and open up multiple cards at one time so that you can be managing and optimizing your configurations in one screen, which is a really great tool. All right, the next step is we're going to add an advertiser. Now, the advertiser is going to be the partner that you're working with as a network to drive traffic to their landing pages. In some cases, you may be the advertiser, in which case you can add yourself. But in most network scenarios, you are actually driving traffic to a third-party advertiser. So we're going to go ahead and hover over the Advertiser main tab, click on that Advertiser button. Now you're going to find there are a few ways of adding things to the system, but I wanted to show you the Advertiser grid so that you know where that is. So Advertiser main tab, Advertiser sub tab. Off to the right here, we do have that advertiser um, Add Advertiser button. Now again, the advertiser is going to be your partner that is allowing you to broker their traffic. So in this case, we have the 
retail example of adding in um, an offer around shoes. So we're going to call the advertiser our shoes retailer. All right. Now you can add contact details. Those contact details um, could be sent over to your advertiser for the purpose of logging into the advertiser portal. Um, we're not going to add that right now. We just want to get your advertiser built so we can move on to the next step. Alrighty, we have successfully added your advertiser. So now that we've added the vertical, which allows us to categorize your traffic, and we've now added the advertiser, they own the landing page that you're driving traffic to. So now we have to build what's called an offer. Now the offer is going to be that mechanism for driving traffic to a specific landing page while also hosting the creative assets that you want to provide to your affiliates. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of the advertiser card, click on the offer sub tab. All right, we do see that we have an example here, but we're going to go ahead and add an offer ourselves so I can walk you through the steps that it takes to create an offer. In this case, we have our retail shoes example, and the offer is going to be retail shoes offer. You can create a naming convention however you'd like. I've seen it multiple ways, but this is our example. So retail shoes offer it is. And the vertical again is how we categorize our traffic. We created that retail vertical. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Our advertiser that we just created. Again, they own the offer. They are the advertiser that is paying you when users are completing some kind of action on the landing page. The status is going to be either public, private, apply to run, or an active. Now this matters for your affiliates when they log into the affiliate portal. If you want your affiliates to have instant access to this offer, go ahead and select public. Otherwise, if you want to be a bit more um, selective around who can have access to it, you might say private. And private means that you have to handpick which affiliates get access to the offer by creating that campaign relationship for them. Now, apply to run is a great middleman. Apply to run means that the affiliates can see your offer, but they really have to submit that application for you to then approve. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select public. I want my affiliates to have access to this right away. But how are you going to pay your affiliates? Is this on a cost per acquisition basis? Is it on a rev share because you want to get uh, your advertiser has agreed to pay you a percentage and therefore you want to pass along uh, some kind of percentage to your affiliates? This is all about how you're paying the affiliates. So in a CPA perspective, you are going to pay your affiliates a static fee per action that you can configure per affiliate. However, we do have the option for supporting cost per click, that rev share model. We also have fixed uh, and um, CPM, which is going to be more for impressions. 90% of the use cases that we see in our scenarios around supporting the affiliate network is going to be on a CPA basis because you want to pay your affiliates a reward or a commission for each action that takes place. So in this case, we can select CPA. And now we have an attribution model. Attribution is at the core of what we do at Cake. It is the tracking and it is the fundamentals of how we choose to pay our affiliates. In an affiliate network scenario, you're going to have lots of affiliates driving traffic through similar user bases, in which case the same user may click on multiple affiliates tracking links. And you need to select how do you want to pay your affiliates? Is it on the first touch, meaning that the affiliate drove the initial click from that user? Or is it on the last touch, meaning that the user clicked on maybe the second or the third affiliate along the line and then converted? So we have that option. We're going to go ahead and select last touch. In this scenario, we need to define how much the advertiser is paying us. In this case, we can select a arbitrary CPA, which is $20. In which case, what is that default payout? Knowing that I can configure it per affiliate, but this is what I'm going to advertise in the affiliate portal. This is what the default is. In which case, I can select $15, giving myself that $5 margin. The landing page URL 
is going to be the link that your advertiser has provided you. Now that may be just a generic website, it may be another tracking link with parameters that you need to take into consideration. Either way, grab that link that your advertiser provided to you and pop it into the landing page URL here. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a generic URL for the sake of creating our offer. You can then give your landing page a name, which will be really helpful down the road when you're sifting through the different landing pages that you have, because you'll find that you can actually select multiple landing pages um, across different offers or creatives. All right, and right after we finish that wizard, the offer pops up, letting us know that we finished the offer wizard completely, and now we have our new offer. Now, there are a lot of things that we can do with the offer, but again, for the sake of the configuration basics, we're just going to leave it here, knowing that we've built our vertical, we've built our advertiser, and both of those objects now belong to the offer, so we know what type of offer this is. So we know that it is in the retail vertical, and we know which advertiser owns this offer. So the next step in the process is going to be to go and create your affiliate who is going to drive traffic to this offer. So we'll go ahead and close out of this offer card, hover over the affiliate main tab, and then click on this affiliate icon right here. This will take us to the affiliate grid. Now, as we've mentioned in the past, we have samples that pre-exist in the grids, um, but we're going to go ahead and add a new affiliate by clicking on the Add Affiliate button which will populate our affiliate wizard. And the affiliate is going to be your partner that is driving traffic to the offer. Now the affiliate wizard is a basic wizard. It only requires you to actually create the name. So we'll go ahead and put affiliate one as our example. The status is active. You could put in credentials right now if you wanted to. Then Cake would send an email off to your affiliate with their credentials so they can log into the affiliate portal. But again, for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and click Next and Submit to open up our affiliate card. All right, the affiliate card has opened, and now we have our first active affiliate. So just to recap, we built our vertical, we built our advertiser, we built an offer, we built our affiliate, and the last step of the process is to create a campaign. Now that campaign is going to be a unique relationship between the affiliate that you've just created and the offer they're driving traffic to. This means that affiliates and offers are both a one-to-many relationship. An offer can have multiple affiliates driving traffic to it, and likewise an affiliate can be driving traffic to lots of offers. So this affiliate that we've just created can drive traffic to one campaign or multiple campaigns. So we're going to go ahead and add a campaign directly from the affiliate card by clicking on the campaign tab and then the add campaign button which will open up a new wizard. All right, so we're going to select our offer that we've just created. The media type is required. This is a customizable list that allows you to understand the primary medium that this affiliate is going to use. Are they an emailer? Do they do SEO? Do they do search? Do they do display? You can select however you'd like if that's helpful for you in your reports. It doesn't do anything on the tracking side. It is more of an informational only type tool, but it is good for filtering your reports down the road. In this case, I have an email affiliate the default payout has populated to $15. However, maybe this is a premium partner of yours, and you know this affiliate, you've had a relationship with them, and you know that their quality of traffic is quite high, which means you want to encourage them to send you as much traffic as possible and be competitive in the marketplace, in which case you can add a new payout of $16 instead of $15. So now we have a custom payout just for this affiliate. Click Next and Finish. All right, and our campaign card has popped open, which is the fifth step. 
So recap one more time. We added a vertical to categorize our traffic. We added an advertiser who owns the offer that we're driving traffic to and the landing page more often than not. We added our offer. The offer is that relationship of one or multiple landing pages, your creative assets, your tracking rules that we can get into it at another time, but ultimately that is the type of traffic you're receiving. We then added your affiliate. Your affiliate is your partner who is driving traffic to the offer. Could be you, it could be third party partners you're working with. And then lastly, we built a campaign which is that unique relationship between the affiliate and the offer where you can customize payouts and many more things. All right, guys, that is it. In the next videos to come, we are going to dive into a bit more around the tracking side, the reporting side, and the optimization side. But for now, thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, reach out to tech support at support at getcake.com, and we will be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much.